Uh, so let's just take something like a capsule maybe. And I'm gonna give this some more segments. Let's just make this 12, 12, and 36. Okay, so the reason why I'm giving it more segments is so that it has a, a, a nice sort of smooth move to it. Um, so quickly, trying to get the polygons to be relatively the same size moving across. Okay, so this looks pretty good, pretty even. Um, okay, I have to, before I can add a, any sort of um, a rig to this, I need to make it editable first. So first thing first, get the polygons so they're a higher count and make it editable. All right, so what we are going to do with this is I'm going to go to the front view. Zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so under character, you have a thing called a joint tool, right? And so what we are going to do is we're going to add, for this, I'm going to add four different points to move this figure around. The first one you put in is going to be called the root. That typically stays relatively stationary. And the other ones follow the route and can move accordingly. So what you do is you hit, um, let's see, control and you click. So I'm gonna put one here. I still have control pressed. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna offset just a little bit because I'm gonna create something called an IK chain, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm just gonna offset a little bit and then I'm gonna put one right at the top. Okay. So now I've got this basic kind of structure inside, but it's not connected. So what I have is a root of joint one, which is connected to the root. So again, the root stays stationary, joint two, joint three, and joint four. And those are the sort of pinpoints that you can move. So if I was to click on joint two and hit the rotate, this whole thing would move forward but you see that it's not connected to my model yet, right? So what I need to do is I need to select all of these things as all one selection, open it up and select the whole thing. And then you go to character and you go to bind, okay? This, you can just hit okay, all right? And now it's created a vertex map here, okay? The weight map. Uh, and it's assigned uh, that to the structure. So what we can do now, if we go back to that second joint here, we rotate that, this whole thing kind of bends forward. So, and then look what happens to the mesh. It starts to wrinkle in on itself, right? So it's not deforming like we would with a deformer, but rather it's uh, stretching, the, you know, it's sort of moving the, the mesh accordingly. Like if, if there was some sort of rig inside of this. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna add something called an inverse kinetic chain. So what I'm gonna do is I want these three points to have some sort of uh, almost like a muscle or a tendon between them. So I'm gonna select these three and then I'm gonna go up to character and I'm gonna do create IK chain, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's going to create a little kind of line between these and it's going to create a goal okay and the goal is going to be able to move so if i move the goal then everything else is going to follow it okay so it's going to be able to kind of like work back and forth and move accordingly based on that right so whether it's forward or side to side you'll get that kind of motion accordingly, right? So this is kind of cool because you can really create more elaborate sort of motions, kind of working back and forth, animate those and get more kind of elaborate sort of scenes. So, you know, this is the basics of, of how we would, we would work with a, with a kind of basic character animation, but something like this might be really helpful to add a little bit more personality, a little bit more complex movements to your scene. Uh, and you can simply just, um, add keyframes, move the goal,
to get a little bit more complex motion. Okay, so that's kind of a, you know, the basics. Again, what you want to have is a single object. So you wouldn't want to, you know, you, there are ways to do this with multiple pieces and parts, of course, but to, to get the basics of this, I would say just get, you know, have it be one solid continual object, you know, use the volume builder and the volume mesher to make that. Um, but this can add a lot of, you know, a lot of different personalities to your scene that could be really, really helpful.